Management training tip, 7 ways to manage to your boss. Does the idea of managing your boss seem like a paradoxical concept? If it does, then think again. It is said that, if you do not manage your boss, the boss cannot manage you. Research shows that the main reason behind many employees quitting is because of the unhealthy relation that they share with their bosses. It is also said that people do not quit jobs, rather they quit their bosses. Sometimes the responsibilities bogging the managers down may make them forget that the people working under them are humans too. So, if you need to work in tandem, you have to get your relation with your boss straight. Still wondering how? Read on. The kind of roles that the bosses play today is completely different from the kinds that they played in the days of yore. Responsibilities as well as priorities have undergone a sea change. If you feel that your boss is a monster who refuses to listen to you and is hell-bent on making your life as difficult as it comes, you are not alone. Every day, thousands of employees seek the services of counselors both inside the office as well as outside it. The most frequent complaints are extremely high stress levels due to bad relationships with bosses. People spend considerable amount of time in their offices. In fact, the better half of the day is spent there. If you do not share a rapport with your seniors and colleagues, you are making life difficult for everyone. Is there a way out of the catch-22 situation? Can you be productive yet share a healthy bonding with your senior? The answer, fortunately, is yes. All we need to do is follow some easy steps and keep in mind that when one thing goes out of hand, another is waiting for your approval. It does not mean that you indulge in job hopping. It just means that with a little effort, things could be made better and peace can prevail. Managing your boss well so that he can manage you better is what is needed. The following 7 tips will help you to manage your boss better. 1. Never gossip with anybody about your boss. Although gossiping about how cruel your boss is to your co-workers might seem to be best way to vent your frustration, trust me, it is not. Gossip has a tendency to leak. It gives away a very negative impression. Your boss will surely lose faith in you forever in case he gets to hear about this. You may end up jeopardizing your future prospects in the company if you get labeled as a motor mouth. 2. Talk to him straight. Rather than grumbling how much pressure you have on your shoulders, it is best to talk to him straight. Tell him what kind of work you would prefer. It might seem like a futile idea to begin with but this is the stepping stone to a mature and understanding relationship with your boss. Learn to respect the fact that your boss will never come to know what you want until you make it a point to tell him directly. However, do not be disheartened if the strategy does not work out from the beginning. Be patient. 3. Remain committed to your boss. No matter how irritating a piece of work might seem, if you follow through as you are supposed to, you will win your boss's vote for sure. Remaining nonchalant and shrugging work are surefire signs of getting into your boss's mental, non-working workers chart. It is in the best interests of everybody if people start cooperating and working towards the company's goals rather than harboring petty rivalries. 3. Provide solutions and not problems. Instead of constantly hounding your boss with umpteen problems, try providing solutions sometimes. This will help bolster faith in you. No one likes to be served with a platter of problems every day. A work well done is definitely your credit so try and solve as much as you possibly can on your very own. 4. Be attentive. Remember that your boss has more experience and does actually know more than you do. Learn to listen to his advice and act out accordingly. Never start office with a notion that the boss's job is to make your life hell. He is just doing his job by being harsh on you. Meeting the company's goals as his responsibility and not doing so lends him a bad name. Respect him as well as his advice. 5. Find out what your boss prefers. While some may like written reports, some may favor to talk it out straight. Find out what he likes and value his preferences. Contrary to popular belief, constantly rubbing him the wrong way is not how you should go about it. Every workplace has a culture that must be respected and adhered to. Presenting reports in a manner he prefers helps you in the long run. 7. Remember that your boss is human. A job at the top end of the spectrum is lonely and wrought with responsibilities. Forgive your boss for being cranky at times. He too, after all, is human.